Devon! Hey, William! Invade my stage at your own risk. Suri from the United Kingdom has overcome a stage invader during the grand final of Eurovision 2018. Should we talk about it? Let's do this! Devin, that was high drama. I was in the press center, you were in your hotel, we were both watching the grand final. Literally, there was a gasp in the press room when this happened, an audible gasp. <gasps> People were initially worried for her safety because some crazy man had jumped on the stage. <laughs> but our girl kept singing. He bruised her when grabbing the mic. It fell on the floor, the cameras cut away, showing fans waving flags, but then it went back to her and she snatched it back and was singing, fist pumping her fist. It was remarkable that she was able to get back into the performance, get back into the choreo, and frankly, sound very, very good and even more poised and more powerful than before. Storms don't last forever, but it lasted for seven seconds, which out of three minutes is quite considerable. I applaud her for not wanting to, to have another spin at this because the, the, the automatic reaction would be, you know what, I didn't get to sing my song, mm. now I really want to sing it. But she was like, if you're at the Olympic Games and your shoelaces are undone and you've done the 100 meter yeah. sprint, do you then say, I want to go again? But you know what, her shoelaces were actually done. She prepared and she did well, she slayed at her performance, but some idiot decides to kind of interrupt it. For what reason, if I may ask? Yeah, he was protesting something. I think Love, freedom. I mean freedom, something in the media. There are different reports about what he actually said. The BBC is reporting that he said something about, we need freedom. Well, honey, we need freedom from you. Because why are you going to get up there and ruin the UK's <laughs> performance? But you know what? This was a blessing in disguise, actually. Because it endeared Suri to millions of extra people because she was so strong and just kept on going. In fact, there is a petition now on change.org org for the UK to internally select her for Eurovision 2019 and to stage a national selection where she sings three or four songs, similar to what Sarah Alto did at Udemus and Kilpalu this year. What do you I think? actually don't think that's a bad idea. No! I mean, if they couldn't provide her with enough security, I mean, the whole reason a contestant from last year came on this year was because of security concerns. So yes. if, you know, if, if Suri wasn't given enough security, then, you know, she deserves a clean shot. Well, we should say, it's not the BBC's fault. I would blame the EBU or RTP. Whoever s did the security... Listen! Someone should Ed. not be able to sneak on the stage. Period. Done. This happened last year during Jamala's interval. This happened in 2010 with the Spanish singer. People should Jamala learn. was not competing. The Spanish singer... Still, someone managed to, to get again. on the stage. There needs to be security in place to prevent this from happening. It is a major oversight, Deppin. It's a major oversight. Do you know what? It blows my mind because it, Lisbon was like airport-style security. But, the, but then, of course, Eurovision is also interactive. The fans are a key part of it. There's a golden circle. So what do you do? Put a ring fence around the fan area? You know what? In Azerbaijan, there was security all over the place. Do you remember? They were in every other seat. And I'm not saying it needs to be that heavy-handed, but clearly there need to be more people around the front of the stage. Granted, they did grab this intruder very quickly. It was only seven seconds, which of course out of three minutes is a lot, but still that is relatively quickly. Apparently he snuck in a camera run and then hiked or jumped onto the bridge and then accessed the stage. There should have been people at every single point, so that couldn't happen. It's a Eurovision crime, as far as I'm concerned. This is massive. It leaves such a sour taste. I have to applaud again, Suri. The way she handled yeah. it. Dignified. I don't think I could have ever done that. She gave an interview to Philip Schofield, Schofield on <coughs> ITV this morning. Um, I think yesterday or the day before. And she basically said he bruised her. Oh, yeah. Left her with bruises. That's the intruder, not Philip Schofield. And she just kept on going. There was this internal fire, and you see it on her face. It's like... It's rather touching and rather inspirational. So I would say. be shooting arrows back. I'm sorry. You interrupt my moment. Where's the knife? Yeah, you know what? I think if they did send her again through an internal selection, she'd have some quality songs. I feel like the longer you give them to plan the songs, the more quality submissions she's Can I just receive. sign that petition now? Let We're wasting change time. Change.org via weeweeblogs.com. Just go on, you'll find the link right there. Done. Done. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Were you as touched and moved by Suri's perseverance as we were? Let us know here on Weebly Blogs. We're back from Lisbon, but you know what? Eurovision is 24-7 for us, so do follow us on our multiple social media platforms, and they include... 
24-7-365, y'all. Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube. We'll see you later. Bye!